Hi everyone! In this video I'll show you a buckle fold Christmas card with Cricut Design Space. It's a fun card, easy to assemble, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. If you check right below this video, in the description you'll find a link to my Facebook groups. That's where I share my projects, so come join us. I'm starting this video in Design Space because I wanted to show you a couple of things about this file. I've put two versions of this buckle card in this file, so you have an option to use either one or both if you prefer. This one on the top that I'm moving is the original one that I showed you photos in my Facebook groups. Um, that's the original one that I did. It's a flat card with a front buckle that opens up where you can add your sentiment, your message on the front. Included in this file, I put this little rectangle and bow just to give you an idea of adding a ribbon to it, but you can just delete those two pieces. They're not necessary if you don't want to add a ribbon or if you plan to add um, a real fabric ribbon. So you can just delete those two pieces if you don't want them. I'm just going to hide that. So this is a second version of this buckle card. On the front you have the buckle with a message on the inside, a tag, again that bow and rectangle that you don't necessarily need. But I've given this a fold so that you can add a message on the inside if you'd like to. And as I was doing this, I had an idea of something that you could do instead of this sentiment that I think would be really cute. I'm just going to duplicate this rectangle. I'll change it to a print. Go to my color tab, switch to pattern fill. Scroll down a bit. Here's a photo that I have uploaded. Go to edit pattern. I think I need to do it about 300. Let's see if that works. That's close enough for this demo. And you could add a family photo to the front buckle. I think that would be really cute. And then write your message on the inside when you open the card. I'll show it to you as I assemble the card. So I'm going to delete this. I don't want it to be saved in the file because then it's an uploaded image and it won't be shareable. So that's about all I needed to show you, I think. I'm going to cut and assemble this double fold one and I'll show you my finished version of this flat one. So I'll switch to my overhead camera and let's get that done. So this is the original version of the card that I showed you in um, my Facebook groups. It's a flat card. It doesn't open except for this buckle opens where you can add a little message on the inside. You have a tag on the outside and it closes like a buckle. I think it's very cute, very fun. Um, as I mentioned in Design Space, if you wanted to do something extra with these cards, you could add a family photo to the inside. And if you're doing this flat card, you could use a plain white panel on the back to put your message on the back of the card. So that would also work out really cute if you wanted to add a family photo. This is my son and his gorgeous wife and I just did a print um, a draft copy print just to show you how you could also use this that would be very fun also I think that's a really cute way to use it so this is the flat card the front of the folded card is the same so in this video I'll make the folded card and that way you'll be able to assemble either one whichever you prefer to use so we have our card base we have the panel that creates the buckle we have our pattern paper 
our messages and part of our tag and the white plain panel for the inside to make your uh, to write your message so let's go ahead and assemble that it's really quite easy to do i'm going to use green ribbon on this one so we'll start by folding our score lines your cut will look like this you're going to fold it in half to create your folded card so I'm folding the top half back and I'm folding the buckle portion forward and you can see how this card will stand up while this one is flat we'll add our plain white panel to the inside where you can write your message and I've left it plain white in the design space file, but of course you can add anything you want to it, whatever you enjoy doing. I'll just use a little tape runner to add it. You will want to do a better job than I'm doing of gluing these in, but I'm just doing a quick version to show you how it works. And there's your panel for your message. You can see when it opens. And on the front, we're going to use our large pattern paper. If you don't have pattern paper, you can use all solid colors too, that's fine whatever works for you and your stock, whatever you have. Okay, and we'll add that to the outside. Try to get it on straight. That's cute. This piece goes here. I think I'll take a quick run over to Michael's and see if they have stock yet of the refill for my good ATG gun. Not having much luck using these little dollar store paper runners, tape runners. Okay, no, that's a little crooked. I'm lining it up by the cutout in the center looks okay so that's our inside of the front the outside we leave plain for the contrast I think it's cute it gives lots of contrast from the inside so let's prepare our buckle you have one score line in the center you're just going to fold it in half We'll add our message or our photo to the inside. I really like the idea of a family photo. I think that's really cute. There's our message for the inside. And my tape runner broke again. These are no use. I hope Michaels has more. So we'll just try using a little liquid glue on here. This is the panel for the front outside. And of course you wanna make sure that you're not opening this way. The buckle needs to fold over to the left. So you definitely want it like this. Get that on the outside. Okay, before we add our tag, we're going to place this. I'm just going to place it by putting the buckle through and making sure it's centered and straight. 
and I see that I'm going to line up with this black line on my cardstock. So you can measure this however you want, just make sure that it fits well. Add some glue to the back of this. Put our buckle through. And I'm going to line it up. Make sure it's straight before I tack it down. And there we go. We'll just give that a second to dry while we assemble our tag. It's in two layers. We have our little message and the outline tag. And of course, you can change these messages. You've seen other um, videos that I've posted. Just these are done with a pen. So just um, detach and add whatever you like. You can make them print and cut, whatever you prefer, whatever works for you. We'll just add our tag here. I think this is a really cute card. There we go, there's our tag. We're going to center it on the card. You can place it however you prefer. I like it kind of slanted. You might prefer to do it straight. Whatever works for you is perfect. Card making is about creativity. It's whatever you like. You're not bound to do something exactly how you see it. So if you want to do it a different way, please do. And there's our fun. And as you see, this is done the exact same way, even though this card does flip open. There we go. And we can add a little ribbon, I guess. You don't have to, but we could. Let's see. I'm not very good at tying bows for sure, so I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm trying to hold it tight and tie it at the same time. The struggle is real. There we go, and let's see if we can trim it. We'll take that off. And there we go. All done, we'll move this over a little bit so it's not right on top of the tag. And perfect. Buckle it. And there you go. So on this version, you can have a message on the inside. And this is your plain version where you can add your message to the front or as I said, you can add a photo or something else you prefer and do a plain panel on the back. So super easy, but super cute card. I hope you're going to enjoy making them. Please post pictures in the groups if you do. I'd love to see your version of whatever cards I share. Thank you for watching.